a seed has been planted into the consciousness of the vastness of the possibilities. One seed, you have come outside of the individual me that is so concerned about me all the time by shifting your attention into the vastness of now and relaxing into being. And if you are to do a practice, how wonderful and easy this practice is. Doesn't require any jumping jacks. You can do it all the time. What does it require you to do this? You have to spend money. You have to leave your home. You have to go to India. You have to cut your hair. You have to wear orange. Renounce your family. What do you have to do? To simply disconnect from an idea and a story and dive into the presence of who you are without a story, here and now. It's really not that difficult. If you pay attention it becomes super difficult when you don't pay attention. Because you have to redo it and redo it and redo it. And it doesn't require any processing. When you do psychotherapy, it requires a lot of processing. You have to continuously going back into the mind, into the past, to the traumas and bring the traumas back out, relive them to process them. This is very good for the psychologist and psychotherapist and everybody else. This is good business for them, but it doesn't do anything for you. because you don't get anywhere. A lot of energy, a lot of time into it, but processing and processing and processing. Why not go beyond that? Why, why not take the path of least resistance, like the water, where water go, goes down the hill? It always takes the path of least resistance, easiest way. 
be a lazy spiritual seeker, as lazy as it can be. Just learn to shift your attention and then you don't have to do any work. All you have to do is pay attention. And that is the most difficult thing to do nowadays in this world because our minds are so distracted. It's running all over. You're gonna go to your phone to send a message to your mom or your friend and then you get distracted to Instagram and you see a photo there and then you go to your phone camera and then you forget what you were going to do. Then you get a message from your girlfriend, hey, come on over, we're having dinner or we're having a birthday party. So the mind is always occupying itself with a lot of different things. And then it suffers. But here, what we're asking to do is instead of doing a lot of do, 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 is shift your attention. And in that shift, from the story into the presence, to the presence of right now, which doesn't require anything, I'm here, right now. I don't have an idea of anything. My mind is not going into the past. I'm not going into the future. I am here and here right now it's perfect maybe in an hour it's not but I don't know that the only thing I know is right now and in this shifting into right now as I get used to the new way of living, that's the rebirth. You are reborn into the new you who actually can be here. And that's where you're gonna realize that up to now, you weren't really living and you weren't alive. You thought you were, but it was a robot. It was a machine living, it was a program. I have to be a good girl, go to school, I have to obey my parents, I have to get a college degree, I gotta get married, I have to have kids, I have to be a good citizen. You're not living, you're fulfilling the expectations of whatever society, religion, family, parents, environment, you haven't lived for yourself because you're dead, you're a machine. Because you're not here until you learn how to be here without an idea. And present, you've never lived. You've been in slavery. And I know, of course, the mind comes and there's people come and want to challenge me and they get very upset because they're very, very attached to the old self and their story. And they want to defend it, of course. <laughs> 